G'day all again. I, I just want to take this opportunity. So I've been out in about a number of locations, probably met up with probably many of you, um, and there's been a bit of a theme on some of the questions. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to share with you and answer some of the questions in a theme sense that we've been getting up. So getting, getting questions such as, uh, will surge capacity be impacted by, by the changes? Uh, will volunteer brigades still come under the leadership of the CFA chief officer? Some real operational sort of questions. So I just want to be really clear about it. What's being proposed here is that the 35 primary response areas for the uh, for our integrated uh, brigades will be excised from CFA and will become Fire Rescue Victoria area. The rest of CFA remains the same. So um, it, to answer the more specific questions, if you're a volunteer now or a captain or a lieutenant at a particular brigade, you're still responsible for your area. Even if a fire rescue truck then turns up with career staff on, the incident controller remains and the accountability remains with the CFA chief officer and the people within CFA. So in that sense, there's no change. When we talk about will surge capacity be impacted, if you then look at the same lens, it said the same people will remain in place. The only change is a geographical uh, 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 change to those 35 locations and the volunteers indeed will stay in those locations then you would suggest to you that there's no impact in surge capacity at all. Have to address also some of our staff so some of the questions coming out of the staff are, are particularly our admin type staff with Cross CFA are we going to lose our jobs will there be job losses um, this the ministers made it quite clear there will be no job losses but it is fair to say that it's uh, there'll be some movement in this space so people could go to fire rescue victoria it's likely people will stay in cfa and the like um, I've talked about uh, who runs the fire ground in Fire Rescue Victoria area. Well, clearly, if it's in Fire Rescue Victoria area, as it does now, the station officer or the leading firefighter or the officer from Fire Rescue Victoria will run and be the incident controller of those fires. And indeed, we can support, CFA will be supporting them. And if they're on our side, they'll support us, etc. So in that sense, we're looking at this through an operational lens of little change. Um, and we still have to make sure we're getting that interoperability on the fire ground. Look, I know there are many more questions and I'll, and I'll continue to get those out there and speak to many people as, as I can as we go through all these changes. But I also wanted to take this opportunity to thank all our CFA people for the sensible and I, I reckon respectful way that the changes are being worked through and the discussions and the debates that we're having. I know it hasn't always been easy, it's easy especially with the spotlight on us, but I would urge, urge you all to continue to, to respect each other, to keep at the top of our mind that we, we all share the same sense of duty to protect our communities. Any suggestions, let's make it really clear, any suggestions, we are not providing great service to this community or our community safety, we're compromising any way by any individual, any group is absolute nonsense. And I'm saying that as much as possible. Um, I'll call it out for what it absolutely is. It's probably a stronger word, but it is absolute rubbish. So don't get caught up in all those seeking to create mischief. Let's continue to stay focused on our day-to-day -day job and the ability to respond to the needs of our community. I know we do a great job looking after our community. Let's make sure we also look after each other along the journey and stay safe. Thank you.